couple more small passings. Oh, you're still on the edge. Now you're right. Don't tell us more like it.
I'm taking it within 20 minutes in between each half. Sure. Oh, that's a ball, <laughs> <video. laughs>
disappointing result but how do you think we've done today? I thought we were better in the final third today um, which is pleasing apart from the finishing goalkeepers had a great performance to be fair but um, I think in the last few weeks we've probably lacked that final pass giving the ball away too often tried too much today was better from that perspective but we still didn't put it in the net at the vital times and as a result didn't pick up any points which is disappointing. Yeah I agree I mean um, like you say we had a numerous amount of chances and the keepers played well today but it's got to be a, a progression from the last couple of games we've played. It's definitely going in the right direction. Um, hopefully we can kick on again next time and put the ball in the back of the net when we do create those chances. Defensively, you can't look solid for 85 minutes and stop them creating chances, but then have two massive mistakes like we did. And 
we've got to take responsibility as a team for those mistakes. Uh, the first goal is a bit of a disastrous one, and the second goal for me is, is pretty pathetic. To concede from our corner with a straight line run and one pass through, yeah. one touch finish is, is not good enough from our perspective. Yeah, no, I agree. Whitey, uh, it's a bit of a difficult one again. I mean, I know we've come away from the game losing, but you've got to be happy with how we've done today. It's got to be, it's got to be better. Yeah, much improved performance. Um, I think Mortz uh, had mentioned it, you know, in the final third, we were good today. I thought uh, young Bradley Sandell was excellent on the right. Um, we delivered a lot of balls into the box. Um, we just didn't have that cutting edge today. Um, so really disappointing to come away with nothing after I thought we dominated the game. I mean, it was nice to see today that we had a lot more uh, players back from injury and the selection was obviously tougher for you. So obviously things are looking better for us. Yeah, they're starting to look on the up. Um, we still need a couple more back, but you know, uh, to, to look at our bench today, it was obviously a bit stronger and to be able to bring on players like uh, Kevin, um, you know, is always going to help. But just really disheartened at the moment because we, we've had enough chances to win three games today. We've missed the penalty as well. Um, so it's very difficult to take, but fair play to Haverhill. I mean, their keeper's been outstanding, and if he if he performs like that again, he won't be at this level, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be tough coming in after a game and with another defeat, but it's hard to really have a go at the lads today with the sort of performance that we put in compared to recent weeks. Yeah, like I said, I mean, we've dominated the game. We've completely dominated chances. I think they've had two or three maximum, um, two big mistakes, unfortunately which we seem to be penalised for at the moment. And obviously, you know, you can't have 13, 14 chances in a game and score one goal. So in a way, we got what we deserved and the finishing has to improve. But, you know, there are positives there. So, Cheers, Dan. Thanks very much.